What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sly Jordy and welcome back to F1 23. Um, yeah, if you missed the last video, originally this was going to be the video for them, but then I had a little discussion. The intro was really long and I felt that was more important to upload on its own than this. But here it is. We are going to be playing F1 23 for the first time in a while, uh, technically. Because I've been playing career mode on my own for a while, but whatever. I, I'm just happy to be back, to be quite honest with you. We're just going to get right into a um, a Grand Prix. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to go against... Right, we're going to go Bahrain, and we're going to... Ooh. So, part of me wants to use the F1 World card, but I think I'm going to go... I'm going to use the Alfa Romeo card. We're going to go equal performance on. Uh, we'll be Bottas. And then difficulty, we'll put that up to 95. We'll put it up to 95 and see how we feel about that. Uh, and yeah, just, we're right back. We're back, okay? Uh, weekend structure, I think we'll go with just five laps. And you know what? We're just going to, we're just going to race and we are going to experience what is, quite frankly, a much, much better game than um f124 that's for sure um i won't be using a setup though oh my god this is so weird actually seeing like bottas's like gloves but it's all like red instead it is such a drastic change man i miss alpha romero but here we are oh we're starting right in the back you know what that's perfect i'll take that we got danny rick in the alpha tari ahead yeah we got the two alpha taris ahead that's crazy I think a Ferrari started P1. Here we go. Already getting right into it. Oh, God. And that usually happens. <laughs> that usually happens. I, I never judge it correctly. That's why I usually try to stay, like, towards the right and out the way of everybody. But uh, we could probably make a move right here. Try and follow Yuki around. Oh, Albon's... Uh, not Albon. Gasly's at the side of me there. Turn down that brake bias, that's for sure. We're getting overtaken here. Nice little overtake on Gasly. I wasn't actually looking, it was an evasive manoeuvre, but we're round him at the very least. You know what, so far, so good. We've jumped about five positions, I think we can... You can really dive bomb around Bahrain against the AI on the first lap, because... Well, that was really... A really big move. Perez is really low down. Oh my god. But yeah, you can really dive bomb on the first lap because they slow down like so much. Because uh, like they're all getting each other's way. But why is Perez all the way down in P12? Why is that realistic? That like, he's done awful. I don't know. But mate, I have missed the Alfa Romeo livery. To be quite honest. The beautiful black and red. I just love the font of Alfa Romeo as well. It is stunning. But you're going to see just how much easier it is to actually catch up and even keep up with some of these uh, other cars because of the lack of uh, dirty air. Um, F124 added this whole dirty air mechanic in and they've really overblown it. You know, like you just, it's so difficult to overtake in that game. Players might be looking for a move on Sergeant here. Uh, speaking of Logan Sargent, he's just lost his Williams seat, hasn't he? And I support Williams, I think it was a bad move. Not because Sargent is bad, but because of the guy we've replaced him with, you know? It's just another rookie, you know? No disrespect towards Colapinto, like, he's a great driver. But Sargent is defending really well against Perez, by the way. Go three wide into this section, and Sargent gets squeezed out by me and Perez. And I'm going to dive on Perez right here. And our former teammate, Lewis Hamilton, is just up the road. This just feels so, so much better. I'm using a balanced setup as well. Like, this is the default setup around Bahrain. And it just feels so, so much better. It feels so much better to not have to worry about flicking between different modes for ERS as well, you know? But, um... Yeah, on F124, with the other car that far ahead, 
usually it would be really like quite impossible to actually catch up. But, um, let's see if I can just prove how much better of a game F123 is. And I played 95 difficulty the whole year that we did play it. And we're also playing next gen F123, so this is actually the first next gen F123 gameplay that I'm actually showing on the channel. Uh, we, we stuck with last gen. Oh, DRS on lap 3, that was better as well. Uh, but yeah, we stuck with last gen because you can't port over career saves, unfortunately. So there wasn't really much we could do about that, I kind of had to stick with it. I mean, look at that! Already within DRS range, or at least we were. But there you go, like, it's just so much easier to catch up, there's no dirty air whatsoever. I think there definitely should be a little bit, but F124, it's just the game that just uh, just overdoes way, way too much, you know? And it, it's, just, it's just not a good game. I really do regret buying that. Uh, and I think in future, I'm definitely going to wait a month before each game. Apart from F126, that's going to be a big one, and I kind of want to capitalize on all the views from a new era. But outside of 26, so when it comes to 25, 27, 28, I think I'm just going to wait a month before purchasing it, just to see what the general consensus is on it, and how everybody else is finding the game, because I should have done that with F124, but I purchased it because of all the new career modes that they added, which I still stand by, I I do like everything they added to the career mode, and it's a shame that I'm not actually going to be experiencing it in full again until F125, and I'm really banking on F125 being a good game because it's made by the same people who made this, so surely it could be good. But that's what the open betas are, that's what the closed betas are for, you know? You don't even have to purchase the game to um, have access to the betas, you know? And I didn't like the beta for F124, I made it very clear. Uh, so, you know, I think I've got to take the beta a lot more into the equation next time. But I mean, look at how close we are to the back of Hamilton. This would never, ever have happened in F124. Never. Yeah, we definitely want to get into the points, that's for sure. I was thinking about a dive bomb there, but it wouldn't have been a good decision at all. see what we can do. Come on. But yeah, this is just so much better. Like, it's not even close. It's not even a joke how... Like, F124 as a game is an absolute joke. This is just so much better. It feels... It, it's fun. It feels fun to play. That's the thing. You know? Again, I'm not saying F123 is this perfect game, but it is my favourite one for a reason, you know? The driving just feels so, so good. And, but it doesn't feel easy as well, you know? There's, there's little quirks to it that F124 doesn't have. Okay, final lap. Let's go. Final lap. Hamilton looking for the move on Ocon. Very close to the back of them there. Look at that there. DRS on Hamilton. Perhaps we can make a move on Ocon as well. It's three wide. Getting on the curb just a little bit. Really trying to give each other as much space as possible. And Ocon. That's that little thing that I complained about. All year for F123. It's kind of my only issue with it. How they kind of like back off to save themselves from crashing, you know? But man, that was a really, really fun race, honestly. Uh, I just, I never felt like that with F124. I always, I always had like a sense of hopelessness playing F124, strangely enough, but mate, this is just so, so fun to play. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna want to save a lot more ERS now. That's another thing, the ERS system, like, why did they even change that? It's just not how it works in real life. Like, they should have just kept it like this. It's just so, so much better. Ocon, perhaps looking for a move. Going around the outside. I'm going to squeeze it out a little bit. Carlos Sainz! 
wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. And there you go. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. That was fun! From P20 to P9, equal performance, 95 difficulty, that was a lot of fun. Bahrain is one of the more e like it's probably the easiest track to learn in the game. Um, in terms of just default setups. I, I found in the other races that um like in career mode recently, uh, just playing it on my own, that I've had you know, I, I felt the need to have a setup for other tracks, but Bahrain has always been like one of the most balanced tracks on the calendar. Well after an incredible day of racing, who was yeah, your that was good. The day that was really, really good. I really I actually enjoyed racing then. You know, F one twenty four, I just I didn't really enjoy that game at all. I think genuinely I think that's one of the worst F one games ever made. It's it's that bad to me. And I just I don't see how people like Alex Gillen are Going back to F123 and still defending F124, I just think that's abysmal. I think that's absolutely abysmal and shameless because it's clearly not better than F123. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was our revisit of F123, a little race right there. Might not have been much, might not have even been interesting. I don't care. Uh, but I think it's just night and day, my experience of F123 versus 24 you know and i really hope that this development team that did f123 when they do f125 i am really 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 hoping that um you know they fix a lot of this stuff and that quite frankly it feels like f123 you know balance out that dirty air like really really minimize it quite frankly actually put it as an option like i i would want to switch that off i think it's awful but Again, if you if you really want to keep that in, and I think you should for realism, uh, you've got to balance that. That needs a lot more balancing. Like, there's a lot more overtakes happening in real life than there are in the game. Uh, the ERS system that needs that needs absolutely reverting. There, there's just there's there's no saving that at all because that's just not how they work in real life. Neither just revert it, just absolutely revert it. Um, and then yeah, the AI just you know have it like f123 but we're but make it so they don't back off you know i i like f124's ai like one-on-one -on -one battling to be fair uh so like can we just find a happy medium between the two that would be fine but between the two if i had to choose i'm going f123 every day uh but yeah guys that was today's video thank you guys for watching uh be sure to check out the poll that i posted on instagram and uh, youtube it should still be um active um i'll make sure to post this a bit earlier in the day so it is uh so yeah community poll uh, community tab on youtube or go on my instagram at sly geordie and uh yeah i will see you guys very very soon our next video will actually be a live stream on black ops 6 i think because it's an open beta so i think you're allowed to aren't you i hope so because <laughs> i really want to live stream that and then, um, depending on how the poll goes, or depending on how I feel, September 1st, we will be premiering the first episode of um, our new F123 career mode. So, yeah, guys, cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.